I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of What's good everybody? How y'all doing out there today? Hopefully everyone is doing great. I'm doing great and today as y'all can see we are playing some more um, GTA 5 online. So let's get it baby. Okay. Yes, one truck. You doing this, huh? The products in the back of the truck and ready to move. Yeah, we get doing this. Buyer, and you're of done. course. It's easy. Easy money. Way better, cool. Might not have to even shoot nobody. Oh, they come. They're coming. Wait, stop it. That's what y'all get. Thought y'all was messing with me. Somebody who's soft? Not me, motherfucker. Stop it. You have dead. Just die. Already. Dang. Good with that one. Wow, really? Run that deep. I'm tearing your car up just to get away from a bullet. cocaine business over once i reach about 14 15 million then i'll smooth the business it's my money and i need it now you know <laughs> that's how i feel just like that commercial i ain't never lied about that it's my money so leave me alone about it Watch they give me some stupid stuff, man. That I don't want. We oh, the cop it? choppers. Uh, okay, okay, cool. The buyer wants an air drum. The other the day. Loaded and waiting at the helipad. Um, the other day I had to. <laughs> I had the uh, seaplanes, and since it's snowing out there, you see how you can't see the tail the water from the um, sky. I couldn't tell the water from the sky, so I ended up messing up my plane, my first plane that I had, not the last one, the first seaplane that I just jumped into, didn't even make a drop, and I ended up losing the biz, well, I lost it, but I dashed so I could come back, and I wouldn't really lose it, but I did 
lose it basically so how was everyone's Christmas hopefully y'all got everything y'all wanted or needed that's what it's all about getting people gifts and spending time with family it's cold out there my front my um windows my house windows are freaking frozen you can see the the ice forming on the windows that's how cold it is i thought the snow was supposed to leave today like come on man i hate this stuff well, i don't hate it but the just it just makes everything so much harder like you can't hardly see anything I mean, I don't, I don't make it like a snow thing. Like that just makes it irritating. Like yeah, sometimes I can't. I, it does look like this when it's snowing, but not all the freaking time. Then whose idea was it to put this in between these freaking um, turbines? This is not a good start to live in somewhere like I've never had this issue and I have stayed in projects before and yeah this is an apartment building but it's not the projects like even the projects like when you stay in the projects they come and fix your stuff quick they don't it don't take them all this time it don't they don't have to do all this they come in do what they got to do and leave is stand the projects it never looked like the projects inside and i will never forget it on my 11th birthday my mom got a good job like a, a job she can you know make a nice amount of money so see i can't see anything it don't need you can't even tell that's red like look at it I have to stop playing this until the snow is gone. I don't, I don't like the snow. Yeah, if you got an elevator in, in your, uh, what's the name? They don't consider that the project, I guess. <laughs> That's like a, a nice apartment building. <laughs> Honestly, freaking uh, I hate going by this thing the freaking some of the freaking projects is better than the houses now I go in like what's supposed to be like good neighborhoods now and all you see is what you see in the projects you can't even find a good house anymore people don't know how to keep stuff up or act like humans and and not tear it up. Oh, what is this? I've never seen this house, I don't think. You notice a lot of stuff on GTA when you're flying or when you're riding with somebody. And sometimes you can come across a, some good places, like, you know, that's supposed to be how they are but it's very rare these days but now they're moving anybody anywhere now if you got if you can pay it or you get section eight or whatever um they're letting you in it don't matter what your background is they don't care as long as you can pay them one two three okay yeah that seems like the route to go you got to make three times the rent these days so if your rent is a thousand something you have to make three thousand dollars just to get in the freaking apartment you gotta pay to stay Dang, just take the weed ljt shut the hell up first i was too high now i'm too low like make up your mind bruh how y'all do it yes that's why I didn't comment on the channel for real all these years P 
people seem OD toxic nowadays for no reason. Yeah, if you don't agree with them or you don't you don't live by the code they live by, yeah, uh, you will catch it. If your skin is very thin, you won't make it. I mean, I could be sensitive. Like, you know, I'm really sensitive. I, I sometimes can be, will cry easily, you know, but... I've learned to get some tough skin. So not everything bothers me anymore. I, even when it seems like something is bothering me, sometimes I'm just talking mess. When, when I'm, you know, making these little jokes and stuff like that, I just be joking. It don't be, you know, for real. So I hope don't nobody take anything personal. Like when I say something about somebody's body or something. They say your body shame. Say something about somebody, anything. Say some, anything about somebody, you're, you're shaming them. Like you just can't take a joke. Like even comedians is getting this treatment. They're comedians. Like come on now. And they call Cleveland the mini New York, but shoot, we ain't nowhere near hey. no New York. New York is savage. See ya. Like when you're young, kids are very, they can be, uh, how do you say it? Very, I don't know the word, but you know what, how kids are. I can't think of the word right now. It's on the tip of my tongue, but you know how kids are. You know, I don't know how it goes for men, but I'm I'm sure it goes the same way for any child when you're a child. Like when you when somebody talk about you and they keep talking about that one thing, you start to get a complex about it. Until until you start to get older and you realize like, uh, I'm me. This is who I am, and if you don't like it gives a fuck if you don't like me like jesus was talked about you just gotta be confident within hey. yourself and nothing anybody will say can change that about you humpy all right let's take these uh people up out of here because i need the the popularity all right is this the time i can get this million from franklin please franklin i mean what am i looking for i don't remember this this ain't where I'm gonna get that milli either. I don't think. They gotta be in this little cut right here. Oh. Is it in here? Yep, in here. They're here! Yeah, I'm Take here. Get motherfuckers out and let's go! Look at him. Oh, this, this. Yeah, I hate this. Yeah, I got some stuff to deal with. Where you at? Get down, boy. Stop it. Private 
this motherfucker ain't gonna fly away from shit. Hey, get down to the airport. Can I call my car? No? Dang. Alright, let me hurry this up. Shut up. Johnny Guns gonna die. Talking about don't put no fire, no bullet in him. Ah, he gonna shoot me? Like, why would I let him live? Dr. Dre up there sitting in a freaking billion dollar penthouse. While I'm out here doing this, talking about let him live. Dr. Dre, lucky he living. That last stunt he pulled. Dollars. Looks like Johnny's pulled up. You're coming up on him now. Hey, this is it. I'm tired of chasing this motherfucker. Hey, get in here. What's the funniest Xmas or birthday gift you've received? She looked like a Saved by the Bill cast member. <laughs> What's the funniest X Xmas or birthday present I ever received? Hmm. Funniest? I don't know if I ever received like a funny, a funny one. Oh. Wait, stop Get it. Take him down. Uh. Hey, it sounds like some heavy shit. One way or another, this ends it right here. Don't this thing blow up? Like I hate to go out there and blow it up. Okay, meaningful, the most meaningful. Um the most meaningful. Probably when my mother bought me my first car. Yeah, I would say I would have to say that one was probably the most meaningful when I got when my mother bought me my first car. I couldn't shoot. What the heck? Yeah, so I, I would I'd probably have to say that would be my most meaningful. But I probably had a few. Oh, they almost got me. I hope so. But if that motherfucker's still alive, go get his ass. So, yeah, the car was one. Um, Yo, Dre, Johnny. Hold on, let me hold listen up, to this part. You took I don't want to talk through this for the people bullshit. who haven't saw it. I got mad respect for you. Respect? What the fuck do you know about respect? Come on, man, you know me. You just tried to blackmail me. Ah, uh, I had to hustle hard to get that thing, man. I was just trying to get paid. Listen, I'm sorry. You can wipe the files, track them down, drag them, make this shit right on God. You just tried to kill me. But you know what? Let's forget about that for a minute. The track's in my phone. That shit leaked, my nigga. The shit is out there. There's no putting that genie back in the bottle. Johnny, do you think I'm a fucking dummy or something? Dang, Dr. Really? Dre's lips Fuck are dry. You. Fuck you too, then. But me talking I about his lips is an understatement. My lips look messed up, too. Motherfucker. This the streets. Way out your element, man. 
It's funny that you should say that because uh, I got my clubs right here. Yeah, oh, by the way, that's when I'm going to get my million. I like the nine iron. That's my favorite. Never fails me, you know? Yeah, beat him, so Dre. Sweet, so beat nice, him. And you can really get a hold of it. You With know what I mean? Doctor shows shoes club. on. And I tell you what, man. Bitch Ooh. ass motherfucker. <sighs> I don't even feel bad anymore. The demos are out there, and there's nothing I can do about it. And you know what? Turns out, hey, golf does put me in a better mood. All right, can you give me a ride home? I got something I want you to hear. Let's ride. Hey, listen. I feel like we've been through a lot together, yeah? But this shit- I did a lot. Right we ain't here, do nothing together. It's put a lot of stuff in perspective for me. Jimmy was right. I've got to stop holding on too tight. I've got to start putting some of these demos out that I've been working on for so many years. You have no idea how much shit I've got. But you want to hear something? Okay. This is a world premiere. Right here. Right now. I can't hear it, Dre. Maybe that's because I turned my music off. But I think I still couldn't hear it the last time I beat this. I really gotta drive this man home. I got the chop away. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was taking you home, Dre. Yeah, I remember this the last time. Had yeah, me thinking he was I was going to his house. Yeah. The gift of life is definitely the best gift to ever be given. So that's a good answer. I like that answer. Definitely. I've been given so many freaking gifts, I can't I don't know. It's hard to just pick one, but the car is the one that most stands out to me because that was my first car. I had just got my license. I didn't get my license until I was uh, 18. And fun fact, my little brother taught me how to drive. What rip is this, Dre? I want this. All right, then. Take it easy. He's gonna kick me out his car. I was born with a hole in my heart. Oh my God, I'm sorry to hear that. Also, among other things, so it's a blessing. That's what I, that's what stood out to me mostly, just like. Yeah, um, when you go through something like that, yeah, everything will look more vibrant and, and beautiful to you. Oh, I did get the million for that. I thought I had to beat the dude with the golf club. Did I already do that? Uh, um, I'm sorry to hear that. Like, shoot, that sucks. But you're okay now, right? Or do you still have like to, you know, certain things that affect you because of that? Like, is it like, do you still have to go to the doctor for that? Or is this something that just like heals over time? That's a little something about me, Miss Auntie Storm. I've heard your stories for years. Thought it'll be fair to tell you a little something about me. Yeah, I've been revealing it a little bit here and there. I've had a lot of crazy stories. I've had my share of... I don't know if I ever told this on my um, channel, but I had my share of near-death experiences. I know I for sure said told one. But I've had my share of near-death experiences. I've got a daughter that's autistic. Everything in life is a lesson. And it's just something we're supposed to go through. Nah, it's permanent. It's breathing. It's, the breathing is out of control at times, but got to live with it. Is it something they give you to help you with it? Do they give you anything to help you with it? Why do my hat look purple? I thought that was blue. 
It looks purple or something. Oh, they tell me you just gotta live with it. Crazy, right? Yeah, that is crazy to even say that to somebody. You just gotta live with it. That sucks, man. Especially having to go through that as a kid. Like, as adults, it sucks. But for a kid to go through that, I, that sucks. That or heart replacement. But it's too risky, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's like a stuck between a rock and a hard place type of thing. Like, you can't... There's no right answer for that. Like, if it's going to mess you up, if it has the possibility to make things worse, then, yeah, I wouldn't mess with it either. Like, whatever is, is for you will be for you. Like, if, if you're supposed to leave this earth, you know, at 40 or 50, that's what's going to happen. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. It don't matter how you try to change things. It's just y your life was already written. Right now, I'm going to end the video because I think this is long enough. I've been on here for like an hour and 20 minutes. So, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what y'all think about this game and this video. Much love. God bless. Stay safe out there. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.